All right, peace out room. It's been a good time. Time to go home to America. Gracias, muchas gracias. Right. Loading up our stuff. All right. Got ourselves a classic car. Right, time to go to the airport. Oh yeah. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining. Good morning guys, we are ending our trip here in Cuba. It's been such a good time. I did not sleep the greatest last night, so I look a little I didn't hot either. mess. Their beds are a little springy. It's like yeah. they have a lot of springs in them. So not the greatest sleep, but that's okay. We're going home today, but we made lots of awesome memories. It's been just an awesome trip all together. This has been an amazing trip. Yeah, we're definitely gonna come back, but we're excited because we get to ride in a classic car on the way home, so that's fun. And then we're gonna go today. We're gonna go from Cuba to Florida to Georgia to home. <laughs> not have the same emission test as we do. That car is putting out some fumes. Harold is always in the middle of my shots, guys. I'm trying to get some cool out. video footage. But then I can't get my shots. So. You get lots of shots. Oh, you missed the car. The car is gone now. I'm so mad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you so much, you know what? Traveling with you has been amazing. Yeah. It's like the coolest experience ever to travel with your wife. And she is definitely primal right now, hunting, <laughs> hunting for a wildebeest, aka the perfect classic car shot. Aren't you, honey? Look at those eyes, she is just scouring. Whoa, could have been a cool shot. Cool shot. Whoa. Get my last shots in before we go back to the I know, you are taking some pictures today. There's the airport up ahead. Almost there. We are pulling in now. Uh, all right. We are here. My lady. So how to get out. <laughs> All right, I gotta pay the guy. Gracias. Gracias, amigos. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, this is where the craziness sort of begins. Luckily, we, we are here, here way early. We're three hours and Hopefully 20 minutes early right for our flight. Terminal. Not really sure, but oh, the sun is crazy. Freaking red, like dripped on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try to figure this thing out. This is a mess. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but maybe the airport's not open yet. I don't know. What is it, like 8 o'clock? Yeah. Yeah. It has to be. Either that or all these people are waiting for people to get on the plane, which is possible. So it turns out that was 
just everybody waiting on the arrivals, which I've personally never seen that many people before. There was a lot when we uh, first got off the plane, and there's a lot in Guatemala, but that's a lot of people outside. So anyways, now we're inside, trying to figure this out. Houston, we might have a problem. JetBlue is not up there. Oh, shoot. Terminal three. So our car took us to the wrong terminal. We have to go to terminal three and we only have to get this six dollars left. So hopefully that'll work to get to terminal three. Looking for a taxi. Well, Harold basically got bit by a dog just then. Ooh, I did a little hop. <laughs> a Almost. That was a little scary. This nice man will take us, thankfully, because the other guys were telling us ten and we only have six. Okay, we've made it to Terminal 3, and here's the hoping this is correct because we have no money left, so hopefully we're all good. It looks like this big line all the way over there is our line. Well, you guys, we made it through security. We are at mm -hmm. our gate. Sure I had enough. to put on some pants because it's freezing cold in this airport. AKA 75 degrees. I'm always cold, so anyways, whatever. And now we only have 30 minutes to board, which is crazy because we left our casa at 7.40 this morning. Yeah. And our flight is at 11.30. 11.30, so that's why you go to the airport like three hours early. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. All right, time to get on the plane. <laughs> Singing, I want a hippopotamus. I'm getting in the Christmas spirit because we hit the ground and that's Christmas spirit. Oh yeah. Christmas songs, romantic Christmas movies, Christmas dinners, it's coming. <laughs> Just like and that. We're back in Florida, so it's feels so pretty quick. good. All right, you guys, we are in the car in Lakeland, I'm almost sweating. home. We are four miles from home, and we only have six miles left. Five until miles, empty. Five miles until empty because this we're guy every red didn't light exactly there is. decide to fill up on light. gas. We could just be walking to a gas station here in a little bit, so stay why, tuned. Why? Are you sweating? How, how are you doing over there? I'm mad at my wife. She's like. A spot we could have turned in at. She goes, oh, I would have actually gone straight there. It's a lot shorter to the gas station. You could have told me that like before I actually turned. Well, folks, we made it. Two miles still empty. It was four. four. You can breathe. <laughs> Best part about it, we can use credit cards again. Lakeland, we're saying bye to the parents. They've been awesome watching the puppies. Puppies are already loaded up in the car. Super pumped to go home. They had a good, good little four-day weekend at the grandparents' house. Our dog just threw up in the car. <laughs> threw up in the car. It's okay. You threw up in the car, Trager. It's okay. It's not your fault. Oh my gosh, it's gross. It's oh my fault. gosh. Is it on the carpet? It's on the carpet, isn't I don't it? Know. I can't mm. see. <laughs> mm. We just had to pull the car over because she threw up again the second time. It's our fault though. We know that she's gotten car sick before, so we had to switch them. We had to put Tracker in the crate and Ranger out here. And what was bad is after like two minutes, I was like, man, I can't smell the throw up anymore, which it definitely was there. We just got used to the smell, which is disgusting. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. You mm. need to have a little compassion. She's not feeling well. I don't do well with throw up. <laughs> <laughs> You comfy there, Range? He's like, I'm mad. He hates that he's not in the crate. He's like, I cannot lay down. I will not lay down. I will sit here and I will pout. All right, guys, taking a little dinner break here at Moe's. So, time to let the puppies go potty real quick. Hey, Yoni. Okay. Hey, sweet girl, you gotta go potty. You gotta go potty. Ranger, what are you doing up 
<laughs> we're all over you were weird. How did he do that? I don't know. I turned around five seconds ago when he was <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Range is supposed to be sitting there. We're home. Okay, well, since Ranger wants to hide up there like a weird koala bear, Trax, you want to go home? All right, Range, you gonna come? Let's see. <laughs> Are you stuck? What did you do, you little turd? Okay, this wasn't the smartest thing you've ever done. <laughs> Oh Lord, that's your dog moon. Come on, come on. Good job. All right, you guys, it's like 1.30 a.m. or something like that. Finally made it home to Georgia. Holy cow, how funny was that? I don't know why Ranger climbed up in the back. He wasn't like that until the very end. I literally had just turned around. He was just sitting there look, looking at me and then he turned around again and he was up in the back like crazy dog. I don't know, it must have had like a nightmare or something. Anyways. Time to go sleep. I'm exhausted. I'm so pumped to finally sleep in our bed because I haven't, I didn't sleep very well um, while we were in Cuba. So I'm really pumped. Anyways, thanks for hanging out these last few days and get ready for just what's ahead because we're moving. Anyways, love God, love people, make a difference, and be thankful. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.